You got it, hero. Let's go take a dip together. Ha 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 ha! And expose ourselves to each other. Ha ha ha! I'll show you my pee pee. <laughs> it's probably louder than I needed to be. But me and hero hurry to the dressing room. To Monokuma, it just looked like he just whispered sweet nothing. Oh yeah. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice, whatever that said. Hey, you! How long are you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he started stared pointedly at his wristwatch. Oh, your button I'm not wearing just keeps getting caught on literally everything. Yep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I like I like how that wasn't I like you guys can hear it, but like he went, Yeah! But it wasn't just that, it was followed by the sound effect of stuff falling off a shelf. <laughs> it was like, yeah! <laughs> <gasps> It's almost ten o'clock, you know that! Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls! Uh, shut up. What you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. Ooh. What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? How rude! A maggot like you was going to just speak that way to our heaven sent master! She licked my neck. I did not. She did. I did not. <laughs> she licked you, my neck. Who are you gonna believe, guys? Me or the known liar? You heard it. <laughs> hmm? Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Sh shut up! Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Shut up! You shut wanted up. us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? Isn't it obvious? It's gonna have something to do with Alter Ego, right? Yeah, totally! Did he finally find the clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? That's a no. That's a no. Sakura, what do you have to say oh, about oh this? Oh my god. This may be about Alter Ego, but Kyoko seems to be acting kind of strange. You're right. Let's talk to her about it. Thank you! <laughs> it's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? I had a feeling that's where it was going. Uh huh. You're kidding, right? Huh? What? She's gone? You can't be fucking serious! What did you do with him? Was it the mastermind? Did they finally. Oh, excuse me. Did they finally notice what we were up to? Sorry, I have the burps. I had too much tea milk tea earlier. Mm. <laughs> I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Maybe we just missed it? I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... The solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could have only been him. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass! I would never do something like that! I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You're the suspicious one here! You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat! Jeez! Shows what you know! This isn't my true <laughs> form! I still have three more transformations left! His power is over 9,000! Uh, wait, I mean, it wasn't me! Everyone knows you're the thief! Wrong! It's you! Well, I'm sure it was one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Oh, why not? I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came to into the dressing room. W what? It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. But I never heard any yell. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. Oh, that's surprising. Then, who was it? Was he Ricardo? <laughs> Fuck Ricardo. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. It was probably Piaki, though. Because he was wondering about it. Yeah. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Tanaka or Fumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. Wow, what a Makoto statement. Whoa! Byakuya! You got lowered on my tier, Byakuya. <laughs> <laughs> You're now down to D tier? Yeah. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Togo, and myself. One of us must be the thief. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There is a traitor among us. Huh? 
One of us is working for the mastermind, a spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. I just thought of something that didn't really register to me until just now. Mm -hmm. So, someone moved the Junko magazines into the laundry room. Yeah. They even mentioned it. They said, why are these here? Did someone move them here on purpose? Mm -hmm. and Kyoko was in the laundry room. <laughs> you son of a bitch. No, it's probably she was just reading. But it is weird. That is weird. That is weird. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone to help, and brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. Th there's no way! I love how he stuttered in his own head. Yeah, right? Th there's no way! Makoto, you're thinking you don't need to stutter. <laughs> Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care! I don't care who, someone, anyone, save her! Please rescue her! I'm begging you! I just want to see her smiling face again. Same here! How many times do they have to kill Pro before they're happy? Aww. I'll beg, I'll scrape my head across the ground, just please give him back! This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kinda get how they feel. It was soccer. <laughs> <laughs> I think Alter Ego is most likely to still safe for the moment at least. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. So you're saying whoever did it was something else in mind for him. Something else. That doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing else matters now. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise as a man. You guys didn't hear that, but we just heard. <laughs> he, he powered up. Yeah. I swear I'll save her using the power of love. Ding dong, bing bong. It's nighttime. It's officially time for y'all to shut your fucking mouth. Exactly. You're all annoying me. It's nighttime. See the dining dining hall. Get sweet dreams. Don't let the bad dogs bite. bite. Don't let them bite, folks. It's nighttime. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. What good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. See, it's funny because I have a feeling it's Celeste, and here's my reasoning for that. Yeah. Because she taught, she was like, he's. She was very adamant about the fact that we have no hope of escaping, mm -hmm. and so if our only hope of escaping was, is to be a yeah. killer. Could be. Well, no, I mean, our only, if our only hope of escaping was um, alter ego, alter then, ego she would, then she would take that. That she but, might do something with it. But why would she? Why would she not want to escape so badly? I mean, she. Is clearly since day one, she's literally just been well. Guess we have to adapt to it. Guess yeah. we're adapting to it. Yeah. And even at the beginning of this chapter, she was like, "What do you have to look forward to in the real world anyway?" Yeah. So clearly, she doesn't really have much desire to go back. Fair enough. So. Fair enough. The other reason, the other person I could think is Byakuya, just because he's he's an ass. He well, yeah, and he's just like, man, I'm all about this killing game, but if this happens, then we won't have it. So I mm -hmm. guess I'm gonna have to destroy it or some mm -hmm. shit, but. Huh. Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking sentence. All right. All right. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. Just, what do you think? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. If we run around tonight in panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how, you're fe how you feel right now, but it's best if just for tonight you can try to endure it. <laughs> That's what I just heard in my ear, just in case you guys didn't realize that. Okay, then let us part for today. This is fine. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. You seem to know that. <laughs> oh, three Piyakuya! Gone as quickly as he appeared. He's the mastermind! <laughs> we finally 
discovered some small measure of hope, but that even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. I guess, could you say that you guys were at... Hope speak. <laughs> All right, let's We were given hope, and then that when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like... Just like what the mastermind is doing for us. Despair. 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 That's totally, that's got to be intentional. Absolutely. It's got to be intentional. Absolutely. Then could it really be true? Whoever stole their ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? If that's true. No, it can't be. There's no way. That was a fun transition. He's just in his room. He's just like, no! <laughs> I didn't realize I yelled it out loud. The scary thing is the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! I threw myself into bed trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. A body has been dis- <laughs> That's usually how it ends. Yep. <laughs> What's this? Oh, there it is. There we go. Guess what's tomorrow? Gavel. <laughs> Guess what's tomorrow? Oh, yeah. We got murder. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. What is that? Uh, <laughs> you know what it means? Our body is been <laughs> discovered! Good morning, Good it's 7 a.m. Time to rise and shine and greet a bee. Today we have to look for alter ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall! Dead body in the dining hall. <laughs> I found myself in surprising high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. When I found out who was waiting there for me, I knew it. Uh, dead body in the dead body. <laughs> Is this it? What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? Mm. There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me. Only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. Shit, we might not be compatible. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm a lazy and procrastinating fuck. <laughs> yep, and I put up with it. Anyway, let's wait a little while on the right, well. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yes, we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. No matter how long we waited. Nighttime. <laughs> yeah, nighttime. So, it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Why haven't the other Why wouldn't come? you just look for them? Like, why wouldn't you sit and wait for an hour? I know. It's not that big of a school. Hero and Celeste have never missed a day until now. And what I'm really worried about is Ifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. Something must have happened. Huh? I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something would happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Ten dollars, a million dollars. t -pose. Ten million dollars! I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's 10 million bucks! 10 million smackaroos! It's like totally wowie wow wow, am I right? Wowie wow wow. Wowie wow wow. Don't tell me someone did something for money! That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here and you can't consider it strange. Not really. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Okay, let's go. This is just me voicing our, I guess. The yeah. anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. It's funny because like the characters I voice just die off. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or there's off too. somewhere. Yeah, might have been dying off too. Oh yeah. The anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. I'm on the first floor of the school. Okay, and you look around the first floor. Hmm, Hello. The place on the first floor has been open to us recently. Hello. Yeah. Is there anyone in this class? 
Oh, uh, what? This blackboard belongs to us now. Secret beauty. I didn't I realize I never checked these classes. Yeah. That's an interesting one. Again, I think Again, they're I feel all like developer. that's I feel like that's a developer joke. I feel like they're all developer really. jokes because they never make any sense later. Now I just have to check because now I, I just want to know mm -hmm. what this one is. It's empty. That one's empty. That's the room you woke up in. Oh, that's that's, that's why it's empty mm -hmm. because they were like, you can't know that some weird shit's going on. Mm -hmm. Oh <laughs> shit! Someone come here! I like how I like how it was like check around, but. Nowhere you checked it's gonna matter. Uh -huh. Okay. What? That was Hina! She's supposed to be checking the third floor! How did you hear that? There's no time to think. I was waiting for the stairs. Well, the stairs are all right there. I guess. I flew up the stairs into the third floor. Right away I saw her standing there in the hallway. M Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful! The rec room door was open! And when I looked inside, I saw! I saw! What did you see? I better get the others, right? I'm gonna go get him! You go on ahead, Makoto! Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room, what did she see in there? Was it a body? But at this point, I was just acting without thinking. So without thinking, I left in the rec room. Who died? And the first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... Oh, it's just... Oh, shit! Uh, uh, it was Celeste, and she was hurt. Oh, shit! She's not even dead! She's not even dead? Fuck, are you okay, sweetie? <laughs> sweetie! G Makoto! Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by who? I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man. A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. Why are you being so vague about it? Just tell me who attacked you. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Almost like the one in Monokuma Monday! <laughs> Monokuma Mail Time Monday. Monok, what was that event called? What? The theater. Monokuma Theater, yeah. Monokuma Mail Time Monday. Monokuma, masochistic Monokuma Mail Time. There you go. Perfect. I'm just so used to saying Monokuma Monday. Like, all right, wait. What's this hammer? Hammer. What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something? Pretty strange design. Justice hammer. Justice hammer one. Almost sounds like something James would make in Minecraft with a couple mods. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's some writing on the head. Justice hammer one. That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1. Makoto! Celeste! I found Sakura! Celeste, what on earth happened here? Appar apparently she was attacked by some sort of strange man. A strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime is not yet over, but I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that this was a mistake. Anyway, what I th th that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... And that's when you were attacked! It happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened, so it happened just after 7 o'clock. That was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? I told him I would do anything he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. Her injuries are magically gone. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> So you were willing to throw away all your pride. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? When I looked at the... No, that was a weird transition. When I looked at the <laughs> and it like shifted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I saw that the suspicious man is not alone. He had with him. He fooled me. God damn it, he fooled me. <laughs> he fooled me? 
After he attacked me, he dragged you for me away. Oh shit. You mean if Fumi was kidnapped? Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us? This is Fumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... I was able to photograph this suspicious individual without him realizing it. Seriously? Let's see it! I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the photos. Huh? What? <laughs> what? Exactly! Yeah. What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. That's what you find strange about this picture? <laughs> Man, their face is covered. Oh, yeah. Not the fact that he's a fucking transformer. <laughs> is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Yifumi away? And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if you don't hurry, it can become a serious problem. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but... The point is, someone dressed like that dragged you threw me away. And it happened over an hour ago. This is bad! We have to hurry! Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? When they left the rec room, they hadn't left. If that's true, they were headed... Oh, that's, that's soccer. If that's true, they were headed towards the stairs, bleeding down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? This is so many voices. Oh my god. The second yeah. floor! That's where Kyoko was supposed to be! Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. God damn it, Aoi! <laughs> this is bad. The strange man did head to the second floor. Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room to the second floor. You skipped my line. No, I didn't. Hey, you too! Whoever that is. Ah, it's Bianca. Finally, you have someone. Hey, you too. What's going on? What's all the fuss? Yeah! You guys playing a game or something? They're always together! They're always together! Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Fumi? Nope, nope, sure haven't! Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. They're just constantly fucking- We came here together! No, you're just stalking me. Are you sure about that? Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? Why? What happened? There's no time now. We'll explain later. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Hey, Fumi! Kyoko! If you could hear me, say something! Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Hmm? Did you hear something? Maybe. I think it came from the library! The library? Okay, let's go! We ran to the library as fast as our legs carry us. When we opened the door to the library... Oh, shit. <laughs> it hurts! It hurts! We found a Fumi seriously injured. Are you okay? I'm glad to see you're still alive! It's super bad, though. Look at all the blood. How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Oh, what guy? That's not... Robo Justice. Er, that's what I decided to call him. Just now. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just hanging out. Man. Owie, what do you have to say about this? I'm seriously happy you put me so alive, but Robo Justice? I, Look, I, I really want- I know, but I really want to know what the fuck- Whoa! That went to get serious shulking! <laughs> okay, that was worth it. That was so worth it. Yeah, there's the hammer. Hammer 2. It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste is attacked with the record, but this one is just a hammer 2. And on top of that, this one's actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with that hammer! He bonked me right on the head with it! A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay! I'm not okay! Look at all this blood! Protein would help helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> I've never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> that guy was Robo Justice. This Robo Justice you're referring to is this, is it not? What the? 
I, I'm sorry. He said the line that you see on screen, but it was literally just, what the hell am I looking at? He's like, what the Sam, fuck is that? Sam. Yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> this is the one that attacks the lesson of Fumi. Isn't that right, Fumi? Yeah, that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. I mean, he literally has an R on one and a J on the other. Yeah. Robo Justice, huh? This just keeps getting stranger. Things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? Because <laughs> <laughs> so so he just so walks in the room fun. and he just starts fucking laughing at him. Because oh, yeah. you fucking idiots. <laughs> we have too much goddamn fun with that voice. And I love it. It makes me so happy. Oh, absolutely. It makes me so happy just to hear the joy in your voice. <laughs> Why is he here? Let us not concern ourselves with him. I love that they just decided to ignore him. Yeah, Monica pops in and says some random shit and they go, anyway. Yeah, anyway, what we need to do is get Infumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. You're right, let's go! Ugh, thanks, everyone. Well, we got your back, man. We got your back, man. But what the fuck? I was, I'm looking for Kyoko. <laughs> we went to Infumi the nurse. You just get my line. How are you oh, doing, sorry, Philly? I was expressing, I was expressing uh -huh. my pain uh -huh. that we your missed Kyoko. Pain that Kyoko waifu is not here. She's gonna fucking die. To your fault. Mm -hmm. You said that, yeah, you I did. did. I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. I'm still kinda dizzy, though. Perhaps you should rest here a while. Yeah, good idea. The rest of us should go back to looking for that mystery assailant. Indeed, before another victim appears. The justice hammer seems to be increasing in size. First one and now two. If there is a justice hammer three, we can only assume it's even bigger than the first two. If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure! <laughs> Tell, Tell us what happened it. to you, Fumi. <laughs> That's funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have justice hammer ten. <laughs> You're justice hammer ten. Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange co costumed man attacked me. That must be what I was witness to. Uh, uh, that must be what I witnessed around seven this morning. After that, he tracked me to the library, and whack, down came the hammer. That must have been uh, thirty or forty minutes ago. At around seven thirty, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall, which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all valorized. I was in the laundry room, doing my laundry. His black under is as black as the pitch black darkness of the darkest day! Cease. <laughs> Never. Why do you know that? Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking! I love her! I love her so much! Anyway, Sophie's Bianca and Joko were together at that time. I mean, they also have alibis. And the other ones who don't have alibis, well, unless they're working together, but... Then the only ones who don't have alibis when Celeste and Fumi were attacked are the only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's right, that's it, right? I feel like it would be Hiro because i he's the only person that I could picture. Where I go? Where I you? don't know, actually Taka could potentially. Taka, well, it's, Taco. It's, a, it's a taco. It's a justice hammer, right? That is true. I feel like it's 100 it could be Taco. Could I feel like Taco? he would, now that he's crazy. Uh-huh. He's like, man, now that I have Mondo in me, I guess I gotta kill again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and he's like hitting that. people upside the head with things. It's totally Taco. <laughs> I read that again. Yeah, I know. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Oh, yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. Where could she have disappeared to? She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. She might be exactly as I suspected. Oh, hold on. Kyoko's with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Nifumi were attacked, so... I'm not talking about who attacked her. Huh? I'm referring to what we talked about last night, who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible! I mean, it is, but... Yeah. Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Save this discussion for later. Right now we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only gonna be more victims! Come 
explain to you why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. And she's right, we have to do something about that mystery man first. Don't worry about me, I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. Understood, take care of yourself. It is, again, it is interesting how Justice Robot went after Nifumi. Mm -hmm. He did go after Celeste first though. No, he went after Nifumi first. He was oh, dragging yeah, Nifumi right. around that's and then right. she came, uh, she's... That's right. Yeah. Clearly Taco. Okay, let's go. 